Good afternoon. Welcome to OG Dweeb. Today I thought I'd give you a little more insight into the uh, custom palette I was working on yesterday. I'm going to call it the Deciduous Forest of Michigan palette. It's 12 pans. Getting the paint out of those pans was such a mess. But it was well worth it. I'm very happy with my palette that I've gotten here. Um, yeah, I do have that nice art case I showed you guys yesterday, and I have the uh, folding palette. And I've explained to you before that sometimes the paint chips off that folding palette, and it makes it a little messier than I'd like. But there are times where I might be hiking with my 70 liter backpack, and I will be very, very limited on space and weight restriction. So I thought I'd go ahead and make up this little palette. And at first glance, it looks like it's all yellows, greens, and browns. And that is what it is. When you're starting to uh, make your own palettes, this is my, actually my first one I've ever made for myself. You kind of have to, at least in my case, I sat down and thought, well, where will I primarily be working outdoors? The deciduous forests of Michigan, <laughs> in my case. I don't do much urban sketching. I, I don't really go to like downtown areas or anything like that. I, I like to go hiking. And I thought, well, let's see, I'll need colors, obviously, for trees. You know, we have oaks, maples, aspen, poplar. And depending on time of year, the color scheme in those trees will change. We also have spruce, fir, pine, and all kinds of beautiful wildflowers, depending on time of year. So I kind of took all those things into account when choosing my colors. With any palette any palette at all, you will need a mixing yellow, a mixing red, and a mixing blue. With those three colors, you can make any other color that you want. Uh, even almost a black. But including some of these other shades and pre-mixed colors make things a lot quicker. And, and when you're, you know, hiking, you are on sort of a time restriction when getting from campsite to campsite. So you kind of want to be able to work quickly and in such a way that it, it dries rather quickly as well. So let me go ahead and give you a list of the colors that I used. Uh, I am using my Statler tube paints. Uh, there is a review for those um, in my history. They're, they're very nice paints for the price. I used lemon yellow, cadmium yellow, yellow ochre, scarlet lake, light green, sap green, deep green, Ultramarine Blue, Cerulean Blue, Burnt Sienna, Raw Umber, and Burnt Umber. And you'll note that there's no white or black included in my palette. If I want to lighten the color, I use more water. And my art teacher gave me some advice once. Well, gave our whole class advice. He said that in nature there's no true black, only very deep hues of other colors. And I've kind of stuck with that, and that's kind of been incorporated into my style. I use raw umber primarily for dark areas or I'll mix up, you know, opposite colors to make varying shades of gray or brown. But I, I thought to myself, I'm going to definitely need a color for the wildflowers. We have a lot of goldenrod, Queen Anne's lace, um, burdock in all different stages. So white, yellow, pinks and purples. But I thought, how often am I really going to be using pink or purple? So I just went with the yellow and blue mix for that. The trees I've already explained. So I've got, you know, the ability, varying yellows, greens, the ability to mix oranges for the fall, and my browns. Sky color, cerulean blue. I always use cerulean blue for sky, blue sky. I, and let, let me do, let me say this too. I know that, um my own style I tend to exaggerate the brightness and the vibrancy of colors in my paintings that's that's my own hallmark so you may want to adjust some of these colors for yourself but I had fun making it and you know even though I didn't pay very much for this palette I was lucky in that it came with a collapsible paintbrush um, you can kind of and I'll show you a photo the brush end fits down into the handle and it's it's really been a nice brush, especially since I only paid, well, full price on the original paints was $12.99 with the brush included. So, yeah, a good travel brush is something you're definitely going to want to put in your travel palette as well. And there are very, a huge selection of uh, 
travel paintbrushes out there. So I thought I'd just share this little palette with you. I, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm really happy with it. And I'll maybe share some paintings with you at a later date. Uh, I believe this weekend we're going to take the canoe out for the day. And maybe I'll come up with some, <laughs> some paintings to show you. But I hope everyone has a good day. It's beautiful here today. Bye-bye.